who are trying to help solve this global plastic wastage issue. Just talk us through the technology you have and what exactly it's capable of at this point. Yeah, well, our technology has been around for some time now. We've been developing it over a number of years. What we're able to do is take really the most distressed plastic waste, the material that can't be used in other systems like mechanical recycling, and we take that back to its raw ingredient, if you like, so that we can take that really distressed material and turn it back into virgin equivalent material that can be used in this example uh, in, in food grade yogurt pots. And so it's a really exciting development of being able to upcycle material back to that primary use. I think there's a perception that business in some ways has been getting better at recycling given all of the ESG principles and goals they're trying to hit at this stage versus the consumer that's still dragging its heels. Do you agree with that, number one? And also, where is it the recycling at in a business sense? Is there enough product for you to use and turn into something that can be reused on shelves like for yoghurt pots? Yeah, I mean, the opportunity is vast, absolutely vast. If you look at the Pew, Pew Charity Trust, they, they estimated that if we don't change what we're doing now, then you know some 30 million tonnes of plastic will be going into the ocean every year within the next couple of decades. That's utterly unacceptable. What our technology can do, and it's proven over uh, 16,000 hours of production, is take exactly that kind of material, material that's going into landfill, that's being incinerated today, and turn it back into virgin material. What we have to do though, and you're absolutely right, is then help the consumer make the right choices to be able to facilitate that recycling process. But by what we've got to do is provide routes, pathways for that to happen, such that people have the capability to be part of this solution because you know, there's this huge, huge drive to want to solve this problem, but it's a really complicated one to do. And we're just really, really pleased that today we're able to announce uh, another step along that journey to addressing it. Um, Tim, I, I find it fascinating. Um, it seems a slam dunk, cardboard, paper recycling, but, but plastic is so emotive as well. In fact, so much so, I was on a panel last year with um, uh, an MIT professor who I'm, I'm sure you're aware of, Andrew McAfee, who said there's no point in recycling plastic. You're better off either burning it or sticking it in landfill, given all the, the processes and the expense and the energy consumption as well. Is this part of the game-changing technology that can make plastic recycling actually worthwhile? simple answer there is yes. I mean, we've just uh, uh, released along with uh, one of our partner organizations, a life cycle analysis comparing exactly what we're doing with these, these yogurt pots in this example uh, to uh, that comparison of, of going through a traditional waste process to incineration. It delivers a 75% improvement in, in greenhouse gas emissions by doing this recycling. So not only does it work in terms of capturing material, providing pathways to, to, to make sure the material is not leaking into the environment, but it also benefits the environment through lower greenhouse gas emissions and avoiding the need to continue to drill for virgin material and then turn it into uh, a product. So I think this is a really exciting step forward of development based off many years of uh, uh, of kind of work. And we're just so happy today that it's there with, you know, a major brand on the on the supermarket shelves in France.